Hey guys, Biker Mike here, and I uh, just thought I'd do this video to let you guys know of a little issue I've been having with my Fox Q3 shocks, as they call them. Uh, the issue I had pretty much started within the first, I'd say, thousand kilometers, and the shocks from new kind of just slowly started fading and uh, just getting worse and worse over time. And especially in the rear skid front shocks weren't too bad because they don't take the amount of abuse as the rear shock but anyways the issue I had what I determined was that the nitrogen pressure in the reservoirs here has a tendency to leak through the stock end caps on the reservoir now what they have is a little rubber pellet and it's a self-healing pellet that is pierced with a hypodermic needle to inject the high pressure nitrogen in the reservoir. Now what that nitrogen does is it pressurizes the oil in the shock on both sides of the piston so that as the piston is traveling through the shock and providing the dampening in the shock fluid, it doesn't cavitate behind the piston as the shock goes up or down or as the shock piston goes up or down it won't let the oil cavitate in behind or in front of that piston so once the oil starts to cavitate behind that piston going up and down that's what allows the void in the oil or air and once you get too much of that in there then the shock fades and basically the shock's useless at that point. So it's really important to keep the nitrogen pressure high in these reservoirs. Now what happens with this little rubber pellet is that it gradually leaks through it. So I did some shopping around online and some digging and I found these, um, they're actually higher capacity end caps. Now what they have on them is an actual Schrader valve a high pressure, high temperature Schrader valve. And with that Schrader valve, it holds the pressure a lot better for a longer period of time. So you don't end up with your shocks fading out. So you may be wondering, well, how do I know how much nitrogen pressure do I still have in my reservoirs? Well, one way you can check it, the right way is to hook the gauges on and uh, pierce that rubber pellet with the needle and uh, get a reading on it. But basically, if they're two or three years old or even one season old, you're probably down in pressure. And uh, if you're really down in pressure, your adjuster here, like right now, I've got these charged up to 200 PSI. Now, when I took them apart, I measured them and it, they were probably around 70% charge if that they're right around 130 psi and what happens is when they get really low in pressure your adjuster here you'll be able to not feel the positive indentations of your your three clickers so right now with the 200 psi charge in there it's pretty tough to move that adjuster and that's the way it's supposed to be so that's one easy way of checking to see how much pressure you have. The proper way though is to actually put the gauge on the needle and pierce that rubber pellet and see what you're at. With the amount of abuse these shocks take out on the trail, you should be servicing them almost every season. And uh, what I did, my snowmobile has about 5,000 kilometers on it now and this was the first service I did. Now I knew it was getting low on nitrogen pressure and with the shocks being just broken, I wanted to pull them all apart and put fresh oil in them, add these high capacity caps on the reservoirs with the Schrader valve and basically just get them right back to the way they were when they were new. Now if you let them go too long, you can do a lot of damage with bad shock oil in there and I didn't want to get it to that point and knowing that I got that Schrader valve in there and that it's not going to leak like the rubber pellet did or not nearly as much as the rubber pellet, I'll be able to get at least a full season 
and still have a good charge in that reservoir. Now I did end up going out and purchasing a nitrogen bottle and a full charge station so I can charge shocks either on Schrader valve style or the rubber pellet style. So I got all three end caps installed on all my Fox Q3s. I pulled them all apart, cleaned all the internals, put new fresh synthetic oil in them. Here's the old end caps here. You can see I tried installing a Schrader valve on the stock end caps, but I just wasn't happy with the outcome. I couldn't get them sealed up really good. So I ended up buying those other high capacity end caps with the Schrader valves already installed. And uh, yeah, so there's the fill needle for the rubber pellet and then the Schrader valve with my fill kit I bought. All right guys, thanks for sticking around and watching my video. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, there's a couple reasons why I wanted to make this video. One of the reasons was just to, you know, let you guys know about this issue and kind of how to correct it. The other reason was I've often thought about starting up my own little suspension shop. So if you think this is a service you'd want done to your Box Q3 shocks, or even if you just wanted your other shocks serviced and recharged, I'll leave a link down in the description with my email address so maybe you could get in touch with me and maybe I could get something going. Once again guys, thanks for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you find them helpful and I'm going to continue to make them. So stay tuned. Biker Mike out.